Well, Stacy's back. Yes. I did not scare her off. Welcome, Stacy. I hope you can hear me. I'm on. Yes, I'm on. I smell blossoms and the trees are bare. All right. I see Stacy's working with her video. Yeah, I can't I can't get my video to work. I don't know why. Oh, oh, hey, I, I recognize that voice. You do? Yes, I think I do. Oh, I'm new. Were you here last week or last month? No, no, I just joined um, last week. Well, no, then I, I, I don't recognize your voice. <laughs> yeah, I did my one minute test. But oh. um, well, this is, is no, one, no one else is on the line. No one else, just you and I, me oh. down here in Louisiana and you somewhere else in the world. So we're cool. Okay. Yeah, I mean, just, uh, just north of Detroit. There you go. You see, probably a little cooler than here. Uh, uh, yeah, it snowed today in Michigan in April. Really? Well, well, let me just say a big welcome to LibriVox. Oh. You've, oh, thank you. You've gotten through most of the hoops already. The the, con the confusion and the registering and the one minute test and everything else. So that's cool. I, I welcome yeah. you. Oops. Oh, thanks. Oh, Algy and Larry Wilson. These are two are joining us now. Two two people that have been around a few years. Oh, okay. Here's Algie. He comes from, he's down there in Australia. Oh, wow. And Larry, I don't know where Larry is. I think he's on the moon. Hmm. No, he's not. He's, he's definitely not. He's up at the space station. So <laughs> you joined and you've, you've actually, did you get a response on your one minute test yet? I did. I did just, um, yep, I did um, on Sunday. And then I had to do my uh, recordings over because of the noise removal. Okay. And I did that and I got the okay this evening to go ahead and record. So you got a response that your test was okay, except for the noise level? Yeah. Well, no, the first time it was, yeah, the no, there was too much noise and I had DC bias. I had that and they told me how to do it. So I changed it. I did the um, MP3 gain. And I got the volume going and then I, you know, I re-uploaded it up and um, I got the okay. Well, cool. I'm glad you got the okay. Now you can jump in and record some good stuff. Hello, Algie. Hello, Larry. Hey. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good evening. Good, good, good day. <laughs> um, uh, well, what are we talking? We're talking with Stacy. Stacy's fairly new. She just got her approval. So Stacy, what are you going to read first? Do you think? I looked at something, um, it was called something like the Congressman's Wife. Um, I, it was only 500 words. So that's what I picked for my first reading. Good choice, good choice. Um, now, what, what uh, software are you using to edit or record with? Um, I have that Audacity. Okay. Yep, and uh, I'm, I'm pretty much not an expert at it, but from you know, I've watched a lot of your your videos on YouTube and some other people, and now I know what I'm doing with the Excellent. editing and all that. So okay. that's a good thing. Okay. So um, how are things down under there? Um, Algie, you doing okay? Yeah, yeah. Weather is perfect, as always. The weather is perfect. It, it's oh, it snowed up in best, Detroit. Okay. Best weather in the world. We never, we never get any of that white stuff down here. <laughs> That's good for you. That's we we, we we rarely get it up here <laughs> in Baton Rouge. But Stacy knows all about it. Oh yeah. It's always snow. It's crazy. Uh, so um what was I gonna say? So you chose something short. You you sound like you got a really good grip on what's happening here. Um uh yeah. have you actually recorded yet? No, not yet. I did a couple, I did uh, another chapter of that book just to see how it was and um but i i'm only going to do that short one and then you know get that going and upload it and then try another one you know? excellent well you're on a fast track i can tell yep i'm uh, looking forward to it you know and now, Algie, while we're sitting here i, I oh larry's left us again um i'm starting um uh, asking old hands to to 
um, show us how they record. Uh, I made one, uh, just a simple one saying, this is my room where I record. I'll show you my little sound deadening blankets I've got. And my microphone, my little pop filter, which you can't see, you can see it now. Okay, it's a little, it's a little cup here. Just things like that, and how I go about reading off my screen. So simply, simply like that. I'm hoping that we can compile uh, uh, videos from different people around uh, different ways of doing it. Because some people use a laptop on their couch. Mm. Some people do it in their car. You, so Larry does it. You do it on, on the on the sofa or something. On, on I'm your, in my recliner. Yeah, isn't that nice? You just sit there, you hold it, and and you read off the screen. Uh, usually, I have my tablet. So, you, but you're you're recording into your you're reading off the tablet and recording into your laptop. Yeah, laptop. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I'll read off the screen, but the laptop, I mean the uh, tablet, works better. And what microphone do you use? I've got a USB uh, Tektronics ATR or something. I forget the model number. Okay. Got it when I first started LibriVox. It works great. Worked, it, it just plugs into your laptop. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's interesting that um, I did catch a video that a chap did who just joined us and he, um, he was on Vimeo. Well, he showed us around his recording studio and uh, he's just started, but he was using a sort of a low end USB microphone and it sounded absolutely fantastic. So I think it, it really goes to show that if you get your recording space right and the, the microphone's okay, the results should be very good. And like yeah. I have a lower end microphone USB because I bought something from Amazon, that was maybe $15 because I just wasn't sure, you know? <laughs> and, uh, so, yeah. but it works out, you know, I, I did that noise reduction. Mm -hmm. I'm in a little space in my basement and it works out. So it's uh, it's going to be, I mean, I would be interested because I'm, I know there's some people that use, uh, uh, hi, Jacqueline, welcome, that use uh, these uh, inter interface, you know, they use the, um, condenser, yeah. not the condenser mics, the dynamic mics, whatever. And they know how to do all that stuff, but I don't. I I, I I've kind of given up on There's all that. There's my mic. Nice. Okay. That's nice. Yeah, for sure. I finally got a cheap mic stand, so I can bring this closer to my mouth and cut down on the reverb. Uh, put some blankets to uh, act as the bass filter, and I mean, helped that, a lot. That that is one thing. A lot of the mics, like the um, Audio Technic AT twenty twenty, come yeah. with a dinky little stand. Oh yeah, and and they're not a good <laughs> idea because, you know, they're they're usually too low, and it's very easy to knock your microphone over, and they don't provide any insulation against yeah. knocks or bumps. So yeah. it's worth paying the extra ten or twelve dollars to get a solid desktop stand. Yeah. Well, this is a floor a floor stand or, or a boom arm. Yeah. Yeah. Boom arm. Like that. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. But th those dinky little stands are a disaster. I, I think that lasted about three days. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I, I, mean, yeah. I, I, I guess the, the, uh, the blue Yeti is a bit different because that stand is massive. You could mm. knock out a burglar with that. But... Not well. I mean, you yeah. could, but I, I knocked it all the time. That's why I have a boom that I put mine oh, yeah. on. And, yeah. And I, I hook it over that, here to a bookcase yeah. where now I don't, I don't, I, I don't hit it when I get excited. Right. Hello. I want to ask Jacqueline, are, are you new with us, Jacqueline, or old? Or, I mean, you're new. You're brand new. Well, welcome. You and Stacy. Thank you. <laughs> so, when did you join? Um, I think I joined about two months ago. And where are you in this? In the, in I'm in Owasso, Oklahoma. Oh, I mean, okay, well, I wanted to know that too, but I mean, where are you in the process? You've registered, you've done your one-minute test, you've... Um... Um, let's see, I've done my one-minute test, and I've recorded, um, I think, about four. I've, yeah, I've done about four different takes, and PLOK on at least three of them. Uh, that's, well, that's fabulous. You're... you're... You're you're on the fast you're track. Pro. You're pro, turning <laughs> pro now. Yes. What what type of things are you looking to read? If you don't mind me asking. 
Um, well, I, I don't know. I guess I've been, I've done a variety of things. I've done some of the religious. Um, I've done the slave interviews oh, and yes. just signed up to do a dramatic piece. So oh, oh. that's the part that I haven't started recording it yet because um, I guess without hearing the other characters, I'm not really quite sure how to get into character. <laughs> well, yeah. I can help you with that. <laughs> yeah, well, I'll do too. We do a lot of <laughs> dramatics. Uh, you, you can't worry about that too much. You, just, you know, take your character, develop it as you want it, and it will fit in. Okay. It's it's amazing when the all the voices get put together, and yeah, it's amazing. What what's your um, uh, on screen handle? Jacqueline. It's Jacqueline Tyler. Okay. Oh, okay. Huh. I, th I think you might have read for one of my projects, the slave narratives. Yes. Yeah, that's one of my yes, projects. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. So, welcome. Yes, Thank we're you. glad to have you here, and um. I'm, I'm asking uh, the new people, especially, is a thing that might have caused problems for them, uh, might have caused, uh, you know, were things that were extra easy or extra hard, because that a lot of people don't make it to your stage, Jacqueline. They don't. They 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 can't really? jump through all. They, yes, I'd say about half of the people can't even make it through registration, and after that. <laughs> No, I'm. I'm. I can believe it. It's, I it's said just, it was a lot. It was a lot more work than what I anticipated. It's just so I have. I used to have a friend who was, was a doctorate. He was incredibly brilliant. He was a translator up in New York for the UN, and, but and he could not make it into LibriVox. He tried, and he yeah. just simply. I said, I give up. I, I, I can't. So we lose a lot of people there, and we lose a lot of people when trying to get their one minute test done. But so you so. I ask people what what's what's the stumbling blocks. Maybe we can make them easier, lower them a little bit. I don't know. Oops, is anybody? Well, I think for me, a lot of it is just the fact that I'm kind of I'm totally new to uh, recording and editing, and I'm not real tech savvy. So um, so it was a matter of trial and error over and over again. So like the first few things I submitted, I was told, okay, I think the first time the volume was too soft and I went back to, um, um, what is it, Audi? <laughs> I can't think of the, the software that you use to- oh, to Audacity. Yeah, yeah. So I went back to Audacity and I was looking at it and thinking, okay, so how do I adjust the volume? And so it took me quite a while to download um, checker mm -hmm. and to figure out how to move the file over to checker to be sure that it was okay and i did that and got the volume right but then i had misread the instructions and so i put five seconds of silence at the beginning and five seconds of mm -hmm. silence at the end and then it was like okay so oh. now how am i supposed to <laughs> short that this? Out, yeah. so, so i've been learning how to delete and things like that so so I think it's just the technical part of it. That... The technical part is, uh -huh. yes, it is. It, it's it's very fiddly. And of course, we have these fiddly rules of now they want like half a second something at the beginning. <laughs> something, that's what, I, don't, I don't understand that. But anyway. <laughs> um, what, what was it? The, um, the, the five seconds and in the old days, the 10 seconds, if it was a 30 minute recording. Mm -hmm. Right. That was up there because a real player had a habit of cutting off um, right. audio tracks prematurely. Mm. So they, they put that extended, you know, five or 10 second gap at the end just to, you know, uh, for the convenience of people, of the handful of people that still used real player. That's, well, anyway, we, we're, we do the best we can in LibriVox. Uh, there's a gentleman, uh, shared this with the morning group, who is uh, in a business uh, master's MBA program, I believe, and his professor wants them to interview a, uh, a nonprofit to, uh, I guess, uh, 
you know, has all these lists of questions. You know how they 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 mm-hmm. do that type of thing. And where he, he he's frustrated because there's nobody in charge with LibriVox. <laughs> Where's that? When he's giving somebody who, who administrator, we don't have anybody in charge. We're just a bunch it's of true. cats. We're like a bunch of cats walking around doing our own thing. We have a poetry guy up. We have um, dramatic reading likes that. That's Larry loves. I mean, different people like different things, and we do different things. <laughs> it's like nobody's really in charge. We we it's amazing that we get so much done. Uh, I, it's, it's, I mean, it's like, how do y'all do anything? I don't know, but we churn out a hundred books every month. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh well, uh, Stacy. Um, okay, now, I think I asked you that too about the the uh, the glitches. This. We, we, I'm working hard uh, trying to make, not working hard, I'm trying to make a series of uh, videos, have people volunteer to take a little five minute video of their recording booth or their oh, studio okay. or their armchair, like, like Larry's in his armchair, oh, how, yeah. how they do it, because everybody does it differently. And we may be able to have some great ideas to share that people hadn't thought about, you know, uh, that yeah. would, that would help it done, J- and, but just the beginning. Like this is how my, my recording studio. This is what I use for sound deadening. This is my microphone and how I read the script. Some people use a tablet. I don't. I read off my 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 monitor. You know. Yeah. I have it all on the same. Thing. Different people do different things. So maybe we can share some of that and make some of the uh, our hard word our hard earned knowledge with each other. So y'all <laughs> listening to me and if I want to do that, do it. I used to print things out and put them on a stand and st- <laughs> like I was doing a public speaking. Uh-huh. But I, I think my first piece, I think it was a poem. I must have read it 17 times so I could do it without a mistake. <laughs> I had no idea how to edit anything. <laughs> Sounds I couldn't find familiar. <laughs> Now I just let it rip and I, you know, cut out a third of what I record, you know, whatever. <laughs> well, one of the, one of the things that, that the new people, well, this morning session was that it came as a surprise. Like, you mean, I don't have to read it perfectly. You know, I don't have to do it 70. No, you can just do it. Make all the mistakes you want in there. Re, re, hey. Say the same word five times. And then when you go through, just cut yeah. out the bad stuff. But it's yeah. like, oh, <laughs> Well, that makes it easy. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It does. Yeah, but my, my son is a big fan of Stephen Fry, you know, the, the novelist. Oh, the, yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. Who's recorded a prodigious number of commercial audio books. Yeah. My son says, well, yeah, there are actually quite a few fluffs and flubs in his readings. And I suspect it's because the engineers are too terrified to approach him and say, oh, Mr. Fry, could you do that for us again? <laughs> Because he'd, he'd be recording in a, in a you know, in a, in a proper studio. Yeah, right. Um, right. So, and uh, there was another one, um, a fellow who does one voice recordings on Audible. And I listened to one of his Sherlock Holmes stories and it was unedited. It was full of repeated <laughs> sentences and mispronounced oh words. Wow. Really? Oh, really? So, wow. um, you, know, at, 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 you know, the professionals get it wrong as well. <laughs> well, you know, I would they rely on I editors, think, I thought. You know. Well, the thing is that LibriRock has got the proof listing process. And I mean, that's, pre- that's pretty good. I mean, that's pretty impressive. And it, yeah. I think it works pretty well. And I mean, most of my proof listeners hold my feet to the fire and they don't let me get away with anything, which is <laughs> what I like. Well, say that again. You're... My proof listeners, they oh. hold my feet to the fire. Don't let me get away with anything. Do they, you pick your proof listeners? <laughs> no, no, I've just been lucky, I think. Um, the, the people I've attracted have been very thorough. And that, I mean, that's good. That's, I mean, if if you're doing this professionally and you want to pay someone to do proof listing, I mean, that's <laughs> that's an expensive business. Yes, it is. So, I want to talk about that for a minute, if you don't mind, with, with Jacqueline and Stacy, that proof listening is extremely important. Uh, mm-hmm. And I want to encourage you to, to take a crack at it, uh, to see how it feels, to listen to somebody else read, and then re- say back, well, you know, you, 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 you repeated this phrase twice, or you left out the, this sentence. Mm-hmm. See what it's like to listen, uh, because if, without proof listeners, we, 
you know, we don't, we're dead. We can't do anything. Um, so uh, it, it is, it's, it's educational too. It, you have to listen mm-hmm. to somebody else and then you get to give them notes. Like uh, that was, it always scares me when I have a poop listener who doesn't give any notes. Like, oh, that was okay. And that was okay. I'm thinking, uh oh, because I know I make mistakes. Right. Anyway, I've so, never heard you make a mistake. Oh, good, 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 good. I'm glad to hear that. <laughs> like with me, even with the one minute test, listening to the other people, once I, once they told me about my noise reduction and then I was listening to other people's like, oh, I can hear that background or, oh yeah, I can hear that person breathing or, you know, so even that's, you know. That's the problem, your, your ear gets trained. <clears throat> and yeah. So, um, you notice stuff. I mean, I listened occasionally to some of the recordings I made when I first started out 11 years ago. And now they sound dreadful. I'm at the it's time. Really? I thought, oh, this, this sounds all right. Yeah. Well, so, I'm afraid to do that. Yeah, I, I don't, I do not want to do that. I would not want to go back to what I did. Because we joined about the same time, Algie. I came in about 11 years ago. And yeah. um, my, my, could... mind you, the, the, the gear has improved. And it's become good years become more available at a reasonable price and the software's improved. I mean, those old noise recordings like, you know, Karen Savage and people like that did in the early days, which were, were great performances by our standards are, are actually quite noisy. Yeah. And I mean, if they were doing them again, they'd obviously attend to that. But back in 2006, 2007, yeah. you know, um, you know, it was much more difficult to do that. It's yeah, technology has improved a lot, but, mm. but, you know, whatever, um, I, 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 now I'm going to share this analogy that I, I love, uh, one, somebody in LibriVox responded to this gentleman who was asking to talk to who's in charge. And we kept saying, well, ain't nobody <laughs> in charge. Um, it's, and he was saying, it's like somebody said, you know, 15 years ago or 20 years ago, they said, Hey, I'm gonna go dig this huge hole right over here. Who wants to help? And all these people, and we've been digging this hole and then we're gonna give away the dirt free. And that's it. We just, everybody yeah. <laughs> runs over there. We've been digging in this hole and, and doing that and giving away the dirt free. And that's, that's, uh-huh. um, that's about it folks. Okay, uh-huh. um, um, I'm gonna share my screen. You guys have questions for us? Uh, not right now. Okay. I know I've been real surprised that I'm not really doing anything to block any noise, but so far no one has said that they hear any noise in my recordings. So I've wondered if it's just something built into the microphone that Mm. reduces the noise. I'm not sure. Microphone placement has a lot to do with it. Usually usually noise is picked up from the uh, computer fans. You know, there are other sources, of course, but. Computer fans and air conditioning. The yeah, thing. that too. In fact, that's part of what I would, my recording. The first thing I'd have to go turn off the air conditioner mm. uh, because that's, mm. uh, and uh, this tidbit I shared with myself, I fought with my computer fan for years, meaning I'm, mm-hmm. I bought the long extension cords and put my computer in the closet. I, I did, <laughs> I mean, I, it was, I've, anyway. What I finally did was I bought myself a computer with a, a SSD with a, a solid state drive. Yep, exactly. And it's just as quiet as can be. I'm thinking, why didn't, well, I guess they didn't make SSDs that big at the time, but yeah. Oh, that sure that, solved they, my they problem. Very, they were very expensive in the early days. I mean, yeah. much yeah. cheaper now. No, I, but yeah, I, I, re, I replaced all the fans in my desktop. Um, and that made a huge difference. Yeah. I got an SSD in my latest upgrade. But it still has a fan, but it doesn't kick on very much. Mm. Made a world of difference. And if you have your microphone on the same surface as your laptop, that picks up sound as well. Yes. Another point that 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 take your microphone off the lap. I mean, I learned that lesson the hard way too. And I have a boom <laughs> that hooks over here to way away because I'm I, yeah. I hit my desk and I have enough mouth noises. Uh, I'm going to share my screen, whether y'all want me to. Or not. A good pair of headphones will help you yeah. hear the the noise. Yeah, you, you need, the, you need the good headphones. I mean, there's a there's a surprisingly good set made by Sony, which is um, 
costs about fifteen dollars in the states. Sure. Mm-hmm. Okay. And uh, they they are excellent. I mean, Sony in general makes excellent headphones. Yeah. Um, I'm looking at. And they're they're very good. All three of us guys have headphones on. That's how I listen <laughs> to everything. Uh, <laughs> Because I'm kind of deaf too, but oh, ah. Uh, well, I wear headphones in my day job too, so <laughs> perhaps because my headphones are cheap, I I don't like listening through the headphones. So there you go. I put them on occasionally, but usually oh, yeah. I just. I do listen to the recording after I've done it with the headphone. Yeah, yeah right, right, right. I want to, I want to go, baby. Okay, I want to, uh, this is our, our um, board index. I'll take this opportunity to talk to Jacqueline and Stacy. I know you know what, this is our forum, okay? Yep. And I encourage you to browse the forum as much as you can. Go to different sites. Uh, like this Zoom stuff is hidden way down here in suggestions. Um, but also, we have a, a wiki. Did y'all know that? Way up at the top, there's a link to our wiki. Wiki, wiki, wiki. You know, I see, um, what I see on your screen is the Audacity. Yeah, that's what I see. Audacity. Oh, I have the wrong, I am sharing yeah, the wrong screen. Wrong, huh? wrong screen. The wrong window. The wrong I'm window. sharing the wrong window. I'm... I thought you were going to Show some fancy editing stuff. Here. Nah. <laughs> oh, there we go. Yep. Yeah. No, I, I, I did. I mentioned. I'm. We're mentioned again that I'm. I'm asking people to think about making a short video to show us your setup, how you record. Later on, maybe next year, we're going to do how you. How do you edit? But that's later on. This is our wiki. Can you yep. see it now? I can. Yes. Yeah. Okay. This is the right. This is the right page. You can uh, access the wiki anywhere. Every page has it at the top. And if you have questions, you want to know, like, I want to be a, a book coordinator. Suppose you want to do your own book, do a solo. You can put in, you know, solo. Uh, let me see what's in there. I don't know. I have no idea what's in there. This is steps in the life of a project. Oh, if okay. you're doing a solo. Uh, if you want to put in, uh, look, of course, I'm, I encourage the uh, instructional videos here. We have all kind of videos on how to do different things. Mm-hmm. Some of, some of them are actually good. Some of them are not that good at all. Who <laughs> does those? <laughs> we have we have tons of them, uh, especially in, in Audacity and stuff. But um, but there's all kind of stuff in the wiki. If you want to be a book coordinator, instructions exactly on how to do it. You want to um, uh, make uh, what is it covers? If you like to make art, if you're an artistic type lady. Stacy, mm-hmm. are you artistic? Uh, no, not I'm not either. Okay, <laughs> the people that make the the covers for our audio books are it's amazing what they can do. Well, that's cool. And when you go to look at our catalog, uh, well, you can see the covers. The covers are beautiful. Yeah. But to make those is very complicated. But if you want to know how to do it, you type in here cover art, and it'll take you to these steps on how to do it. Um, all kind of good stuff in here. All right, that's enough of that, Baroni. Stop sharing. I'm actually editing while I was waiting. I was editing one of my files. I was talking about editing. I love, no, I don't love editing. I like to record. I don't like editing. Uh, what are your feelings about it? <laughs> Larry likes editing, I think. He, he must. He does all those dramatic projects. I know. <laughs> oh. Yeah, let me share the screen here. Share my screen. Where are we at here? Um, let's go back. I want to talk about dramatic products here. You notice our forum. You should be able to see the forum page here now. Yep. Uh, there is a whole thing here. Readers wanted dramatic works. Um, and this is a very active community. I mean, we have we have quite a few people that love to participate in in dramatic works. And, and, and they're very well done. I'll give Larry and all everybody that does this a pat on the back. Y'all do an amazing job of putting together a cast of people, volunteers, and they just meld beautifully when it's finally done. I guess it's all in the editing. I don't know. Uh, anyway. Yeah. 
Oh, Pollyanna so, grows up. So I'm proof for listening the final chapters of a dramatic reading where they take a book and turn it into a play, essentially. Oh. Each character in the book is read by uh, another reader. Somebody's doing the narration, then it all fits together. And uh, it's a lot of work to ed edit those together. But it is amazing, the variety of voices. Mm -hmm. They just sound good once they get together. That's cool. Yeah. Um, yeah, this is an example of um, a book, Pollyanna Grows Up. That's a book that, oh, I don't know who's doing that clip. Yeah, it looks, okay, Eliza's it. Uh, and then we have plays, a play right here. Menachme by Plautus. Okay, that sounds fascinating. Uh, another play plays uh, books and blah blah blah. I'm just amazing. Look at all these good things. What is it? Hoodoo? That's the one I'm doing. Where's Hoodoo? Down, I'm, down the bottom there. I didn't just down the it. Yes. Oh, here it. Hoodoo. hoodoo you're, by here. you're you're participating in that? Yes. Cool. And of course, we have the revolt on Venus. Uh, I'm proof of seeing that one. He's, um, it's, how's it coming together? Pretty good? Nice. Yeah. Uh, Richard's doing a lot of work in the editing. Maybe trying to do a little bit too much. So I'm playing with the dynamics here in the volume here. <laughs> Doesn't have to be that precise to sound good. Okay. <laughs> anyway, this is um, just one part of LibriVox. We've got all these other wonderful things here. And if you wanted to do covers, they're down here. Volunteers wanted other LibriVox projects. Okay, stop sharing. <laughs> All right. Well, once again, welcome to um, LibriVox for you for the for the new people. I'm 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 happy you're here. If you don't have any questions, I've I've got lots of answers. I know Larry's got answers, and <laughs> <laughs> I'm just a newbie. Ah, dude. <laughs> So when oh, I did my I, one minute test, I copied or I was looking at, um, you know, the link to the text online. I did a um, HTML and then I copied it and put it into Word. I thought that was easier to read from the monitor. Mm. I, I do that sometimes. Yeah. How did you? How did I, you... I, I, I always um, copy everything, absolutely oh, okay. everything, including the intro and the outro. Oh, okay. And and the name of the file, so ah. I don't mess that up. Oh, okay. So, so the idea is to make life as easy for the VC as possible. So. Ah. Oh, I see. Okay. Wait, now yeah, you. It's, it's, it, it is. Yeah, it is worth iPhone copying out the intro and the outro as well. What you yeah. mean, copy it out? You mean, R you know, write write it out because you copy it from the forum. It says, you know. Oh no! Before, like what I do before, before you start reading, say you know, chapter something of such and such. Right. But when okay. I went to the, when I went to link on the internet, you know, I just copied my one chapter to read. Oh yeah, I copied the text as well. So the yeah. whole thing is in okay. a you see, word document. A different approach. I don't do that. I just I read the intro off of the first post. I always bring out the first post. I read exactly. This is chapter sixty three mm. of you know, of um, Pluto's history of, <laughs> of uh, web-footed mammals. And because I've made so many mistakes thinking I memorized it, so now I read it all. And then I, and I read the text off of my screen. So okay. different, different folks, you know. Yep. I'm yep. lazy. I'm lazy. I don't, I don't like to print things out. Now, yes. are you able to split your screen or something so that you have, you can use your monitor to read it and then at the same time you can have audacity oh sure if, if the screen is big enough it's a it's a bit um, it can be a bit of a struggle on a laptop okay this is um you, um you should be able to see this wonderful chapter five of voodoo planet okay mm -hmm. and um uh, chapter five let's go chapter five it's right there I bring it up and I read right there. Sitting up, Dane stared wide-eyed into the dark. Um, and I watch my file. I have to watch my file as I record because 
audacity will trick you. I will warn you, young ladies. <laughs> you, you'll <laughs> think you got your microphone on and you don't. You'll think that, you know, I've done that you, numerous you times. Think that it, you, yeah, it, there, it's, yeah, I watch. Well, I have to, I want to see that, that thing moving across the screen. And, and I want to see the, the height of my, um, my track to be sure that I've got, I'll route the right volume in there. If I don't see that, I don't. So I just have both of them up and, and I scroll down as I read. Hmm. So nothing, nothing fancy. That's never happened to me. What? No, good. <laughs> uh, <laughs> right. And the other, the other trap with audacity is you should always check that you've selected the right microphone because yep. for example, <laughs> if you have a laptop, which has an internal microphone, yeah. Often Audacity will default to that. Yep. So you record away for an hour and listen to it, and it doesn't sound yep. very good. And yep. then you realize what you've done. Yep, done that one too. <laughs> <laughs> I've done them all. I would have to say that I've done exactly. I've, my mom made all those. We we learn, you know, by that right. way. Uh, unfortunately, we learn uh, after the fact that we uh, that I've just wasted 20 minutes of recording that <laughs> shouldn't have been right. the wrong mic. but you know that's all it picks up my yeah. my my camera we used to have, i used to have a camera mic and it would just flip to that camera uh, yeah. microphone in it, and i oh, didn't no. I didn't know uh, okay uh -huh. no, enough of that um well the fun thing about librivox for me is that it gives me the chance to record i mean to perform not record mm -hmm. I enjoy, I finally figured out what I really enjoy about LibriVox is I can, I don't have to leave my house. I don't, I don't and I, I really can't leave my house these days. So I can perform right here and I, and it gives me joy. And I think it's important for people to find what brings you happiness with, if it's editing a play together uh whatever it is the most thing that brings you the most happiness and go after that you'll be amazed that's uncle phil's advice <laughs> very nice On that point, I, point i'll have to leave you i've got to okay go well and, thank uh, you ma'am but i'll look forward to the next meeting and good luck to our newbies okay. uh, thank you thank you and look think think about your little video if you can make one i, okay? I will do that okay thanks okay okay bye -bye. okay Aussie. Talk to you later. Uh, Aust Australia has left the room. <laughs> uh, I leave Stacy and 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 Jacqueline and me and Larry. Um, yep. It's what is the time? It's eleven forty three on my clock here in 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 Baton Rouge. Yeah, I'm twelve forty three. Okay, okay, you're an hour. Wait a minute. Where where are the East Coasters? On the East yep. Coasters. East Coast. Yeah. Where are you, Stacy? Oh. Yeah, I'm in Detroit, just no, uh, north of Detroit. Oh, okay. Well, you should be in Central then. Okay. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Well, okay. I don't have any more tidbits of wisdom except to say welcome, everybody, and um, okay. ask a lot of questions. Okay, thanks. Like, I've um, when I was looking into this, I did a lot of research on YouTube and um, also on the wiki, and I try to get all the information, and then that's how I learn. You know, good, good. looking at it two, three, four times. You know, mm. I, fr I was getting frustrated at first when I couldn't get that audacity the way I wanted it, but I figured it out and now I'm okay. <laughs> well, you're persistent. That a lot of people aren't. That that's takes persistence. Yeah, for sure. Okay. Well, folks, I'm going to shut this down and okay. I'll welcome you all again and say okay. we're going to do this again in May. Uh, April, May. May. May comes yep. after. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. okay. Well, it's nice meeting you, everyone. Okay, everybody. Okay. Thank you. All right. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye, -bye. Bye. Bye.